Hi, this is Tom Matson. This is going to be a short tutorial for Teleprompter Pro users on how to use cPanel to upload your Teleprompter Pro zip file into the file manager into a directory that you can access online. So you can access Teleprompter Pro from anywhere in the world as long as you have internet access. So the first thing you need to do is you need to log in to cPanel and this is yeah, what a basic cPanel uh, is going to look like when you, when you log in. Yours may look slightly different, but it will be very similar to this. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to click on File Manager and then once you click on File Manager you go over here and you'll end up you want to be in the public HTML directory and then you're going to go to the folder that you want to uh, go to so you'll end up in wherever that might be I'm going to go ahead and just go to the one I was in okay so I am now in the teleprompter pro demo folder so notice up here where it says public HTML okay I am <coughs> now in a what's called an add-on domain directory of teleprompter pro and then I'm in a subdirectory of demo if you were just going to run this right off of your domain then it would be right out of public HTML public underscore HTML and that's where you would be uploading this I am uh, uploading this to a, a nested directory below so that would be the process and you'll see how this works teleprompter pro is the directory that is assigned for the website teleprompterpro.com. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here where it says upload. I'm going to click on upload. It is going to ask me to choose a file. I am going to do that. I'm going to grab this one right here. Upload it. <coughs> Notice the permissions are 644. And those are file permissions. Okay. Your uh, directory uh, permissions will be 755. So, Looks like we're done there. I'm going to go back. Okay, we can see it's right here. We're going to go, we, we have two ways to do this. You can right click and click extract. Okay, the other option is to go right up here and click extract. Either way does the same thing. I'm going to do it this way. It's going to ask me if that's where I want to put it. Yes, I do. I'm going to do it right where I have it in the demo folder. I'm going to extract the files. Okay. And here we have the folder Teleprompter Pro. Now, we still have the zip file, it's there. You can leave that uh, or delete it, uh, whichever works for you, but it is there. Now, I'm going to open this up, and you'll see everything is right in there. Everything that we need is right there. So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to open another tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the uh, URL. I'm going to type it in. Hold on here. Okay, I just typed it in right up here. Let's see. So it's teleprompterpro.com forward slash demo, which we put it in the demo folder, if you recall. So demo, and then teleprompter pro. It's in the demo folder, and then the teleprompter pro folder in there. And then we have teleprompter pro. This is the file that we want. We're going to hit enter. And there we have it. Okay. Now, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? It is pretty straightforward at this point now. I'm just go ahead and uh, I can, you know, can change any of these options should I need to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to run down here real quickly to choose a text file, and I'll put this in real quick. It populated right here into the box. It's into the imported text display box. Let's scroll right down here and hold on. I can't, you're not, I can't get down far enough for you to see. Hang on just a second. Okay, there we go. Then I get down there. All right, and hit, let's do it. Bang, there it is. And start scrolling. So that's all there is to it. Bang, bang, bang. It's up and going. There's the tutorial on how to use cPanel to get up and running.